Attention pre-PA students and PA students. I am excited to announce that Get That C University will be launching this coming Sunday, October 11th. Get That C University is the coolest place to help you get into PA school and through PA school. So go right now to getthatcuniversity.com and sign up so you can be the first to know when the site launches. And in celebration of the launch of Get That C University, I will be coming out with a brand new video every day this week answering all of your questions. So leave a comment in the comment section below and tune in to see if your comment is one of those that I answer. Go on over to Get That C University right now and sign up so we can help you get that C. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. Happy PA days! and I am celebrating PA Day today, October 6th. So if you want to get that, so you better know what October 6th is in the PA world because it is PA Day and we are proud of it. Um, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Anonymous PA. So as you know, I am going, well, not really live. I'm coming to you guys every day this week in celebration of the launch of our new platform, Get That C University, um, where we're going to help pre-PAs get into PA school and PA students get through PA school. So go on over to getthatcuniversity.com right now and sign up so you can be the first to know when the platform officially launches. But with respect to that celebration and going like live or coming at you every day this week, I'm going to be answering you guys' questions every day. So I just want to get into it. So the first question that I wanted to answer was from Gerardo Gomez. He said, I graduated in May, have done a clinical medical assisting program and finishing my internship. Although application has strong points such as my stats, clinical hours would be my weak point. Since I'm planning on getting my clinical hours in the new year, how may I strengthen my personal statement with limited clinical hours, at least the minimum, to show programs that what I have done is quality PCE? Thank you, Adana. All right, well, thank you, Gerardo, for this question, and um, I'm gonna answer it right now. So for me, first and foremost, you have to ensure that your clinical hours are quality hours, right? So um, what does that look like? I think, obviously, it is personal or person-based. Um, like, for me, my clinical hours as a CNA was quality clinical hours as opposed to my clinical hours as an HHA because I was doing more. But if your clinical hours are like being a firefighter or an EMT or something like that or a nurse, then great. Like those are those are strong quality clinical hours. In such, when you are now trying to highlight that in your personal statement, you gotta still take them on a journey. If you've looked at my other personal statement videos, you know that I like when you guys bring the, the reader into your story, your personal life, and you bring them on a journey. This is something that we will be addressing on Get That to University through a masterclass. We have a personal statement bootcamp slash masterclass where you will learn how to structure your personal statement and then you'll get some tips in creative writing. So for you, that's where you're going to now be creative. You found the story that you want to address and then you need to be creative, be very, very like show imagery um, so that people can experience what your experience on that clinical experience. So once you've done that, that should be more than sufficient enough to ensure that your hours are shown as quality um, and the time that you've spent in those hours is quality. So you just have to pick a really good moment in the clinical hours or clinical experience that you've already had or that you will obtain in the future and then make sure that you are going back and forth and like just reviewing that personal statement so that it is conveying exactly what you want. And the next question that I wanted to answer was from Sincerely Shakur. She said, hey Adana, my question today is, do you think minoring in undergrad can give a PA applicant an edge in admissions? So honestly, like I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it gives you an edge in terms of the fact that hey, you've taken more science courses or something like that. So like for my chemistry minor, I had to take a couple more step like chemistry 
courses and then I had to take like informatics for just to transition from biology to biomedical sciences but I don't think having a chemistry minor played any role in the fact of I got into PA school it was that, that it doesn't matter the main thing is the fact that you have a bachelor's degree that is the main stipulation of getting into PA school do you have do you have a bachelor's degree if you have a bachelor's degree then that's fine you don't have to step out of your bachelor's degree to like complete more courses to get a minor to now show like hey I'm proficient in the sciences if you want to do so just to boost your science GPA, then great, more power to you, that is fine. That will show well because, hey, your science GPA is now higher than what it was. But just looking at an applicant and saying, oh, you know, this one has the same stats as this one, but this one has a minor, that doesn't really pay, play that much of a role. The things that play a role in giving you the edge is the quality of your clinical experience or patient care experience the amount of hours that you have for shadowing and for those um, those clinical experience and your GPAs. Uh, some schools, again, put some weight in GRE, but mainly like your GPAs. Those are the things that you're looking at, okay? All right, hopefully this answered you guys' questions. Please leave more comments in the comment section below. I will answer them tomorrow. Um, and you know what? In celebration of PA Day, I might even go ahead and answer some questions on Instagram. So go on over to my Instagram and see if your questions are answered today as well. And I have placed um, in my story the fact that I'm going to be in a town hall meeting at Morehouse um, via Zoom today, tonight at 7. I know like the game is going to be coming on. So if you're trying to watch the basketball game, pop into the town hall meeting first and then you can go watch the basketball game. But if you're interested, I will leave that, um, that Zoom information as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining me on this journey. You guys have been amazing. Leave your comments in the comment section. Like this video and subscribe. I will talk to you guys next time.